Kenny, I don't know if you can get this uh, through the peephole over here, but I gave everybody ice cream, and now it looks as if I'm paying everybody to eat ice cream together in a communal circle, and no work is being done. Bad management, you could say. I would agree with you. And they think that I'm out here shooting a video, but they forget that I can look right through the mirror or through the window right here and see that they're doing absolutely no work. Now, if any of you are out there managing people in 2020, 21, 22, you notice it's a little different than it used to be. You can't go around yelling at people anymore and tell them to get back to work. Well, I don't believe that. Hey, I see you guys back there not working. <laughs> Eating ice cream on the job, are we? I can see you. I have you on camera. Let's start, let's start it right back here. Let's start it right back here, okay? Apparently you don't want to get Raz because Raz is, well, we don't know about Raz yet. He could be, could be suspicious. Chief marketing officer right over here. Chief buying officer right here. Emma doesn't want, she wants to be blurry face, okay? Chief sewing officer right over here. If you've ever seen a man on a sewing machine before, it's that man right here. He does all the sewing around here for Nomadic Cooling. My name's Jonathan, I'm with Nomadic Cooling. And if you wanna go further in comfort, come with me. We're talking about a problem. Let me give me a drink, Kenny. If anybody wants to know why I'm talking fast, I got the bitches brew, okay? It's true, I got it in here. I got lots of it. Why, Kenny? Because I have a problem. One of us did a little late night clicking. Have you guys ever clicked at night on the old Amazon and bought more than you expected? Well, that's what old Jonathan over here did with Nomadic cooling. Take a look behind me. I have a problem. I bought too many things. What are we going to do about it, Kenny? Kenny, we're going to make a video. We're going to shoot it. Then hopefully people are going to buy things from us. These things behind me are going to leave. Kenny, let's get into it. The name of this video is the one million dollar purchasing debacle. It looks to me like we have a problem. We have a problem here. We have a problem here. We have a problem over here. And you can't see behind, Kenny. Make sure you get all the layers of the problem over to here. Here, here, here and back further, the boxes go all the way back. Guys, I'm not exaggerating. We have a problem on our hands. I have purchased too many things in the middle of the night when I wasn't looking. Not one truck, not two trucks, but three trucks, three 53 foot container trucks just this week got emptied out over here at Nomadic Cooling and we have a problem. We need to sell it to get it over to you. So let's see what we're gonna do about it. Follow me, Kenny, let's go. No matter who is it, say it on the back. It doesn't, does it? I have a little something set up over here. Come on into the showroom with me. I got a presentation for you that you're gonna make a nice video of. We're gonna show people what I've just accidentally purchased. We're gonna show it to them and hopefully they're gonna click on the button on the brand new website that says buy now. They're gonna get it shipped to them. Shipped to them? They're gonna get it shipped to them ASAP. And I don't like how close that camera is. It makes me feel somewhat awkward, okay? Is it showing my double chin? One Dometic, two Dometic, three Dometic, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What are these, Kenny, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked, Kenny. These are portable refrigerator. They go off 110 or 12 volt. You can plug them into the wall or you can plug them into the car cigarette lighter or you can hardwire them. This one right here is a little bit different. It sits in the middle, the center console of a Ford F-150. So I don't know if we're gonna necessarily consider that a mobile refrigeration unit because you can't take it out of the truck like you can with all the others, but is it mobile because you can drive the truck to somebody who needs a refreshing beverage? I don't know. The CFX 25 or 35 fits right between the center console of a Sprinter van. If you wanna drive, have your drink sitting right next to you if you don't like pulling over to the side of the road. Now, when I'm talking about drink, I'm talking about your cold brew coffees, talking about your Coca-Colas. I'm not talking about any of that funny business, okay? When you're driving, it's all business. But this thing fits right in the middle of your seat, okay? It's perfect. It's everything you need when you're on the road. If you get a big one like this, if you have a Winnebago Revel, a Storyteller, any custom Sprinter vans, 
This is a great addition to keep, and I'm going to tell you why. When it's not in use inside your van, you can pull it in the house. If you're going camping, you can pull it out of the campsite. If you have a van, this is the only way to keep ice cream cold inside of your van. When you're going further in comfort and you want to comfort your soul, get one of these refrigerators and put ice cream inside of it. How much ice cream can you keep inside, Kenny? Is that what you're asking me? Let's just find out. Well, there's a 10-pack. There's another 10-pack. There's another 10-pack. We got, we got Cokes here. We got more Cokes. We got more. Here we got those guys. All of this. Six. Ready. There. Now, Kenny, you may say, how did he fit all that in there, Kenny? Is that what you're asking me? Well, imagine this, Kenny. There's more. Ice cream. Okay. Kenny, this says dairy and gluten free creamy and delicious um who bought these who bought dairy free ice cream jenny it's not bad one ice cream kenny two ice cream three four five Six, what's this one? Vanilla fudge cake. Whoever bought this one, they did a nice job. All that fits in there. Uh, chocolate pretzel, okay, a little more. Another chocolate pretzel. What are these little couple cold brews? Caramel draft latte, what is this one? Boom, all of this right here. Keto, coffee, 15 grams of protein, five gram Nebcar MC2 oil. Did you know these fit in here? So all this, Kenny, fits right in here. Yeah. Hey, do you have a app downloaded your phone for this? I do. You do? I do. Well, why don't you come on over here and tell us how it works? Okay, tell us about the app. How does it work? So, I just got an alert. Okay. The lid was been open for more than three minutes. Set. So you knew I was messing around over here. I did. Okay. Set the temperature for each side. For each side, you can set the temp for over here and over here. Yeah. All on your phone there. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did you have it sent to? Because these ice creams looked a little, a little warm. I'm not going to lie to you. That would be Jake. That would be Jake? He's, he set this. He set this? He kicked me off. So you can only have one person yeah. on Bluetooth at a time? One person at a time. Okay, tell me more about this app. So the alert just went away when you close that. Okay. You put a temperature alarm on there. You could put an alarm on there, you say. So you're saying that this refrigerator does everything you need it to do. So if the temperature alarm is switched on, and your CFX3 falls outside of nine degrees Fahrenheit after inside temperature reaches a setting, it will go off. Oh, now these things are made pretty durable, would you say? The people out there on the internet haven't tested their units out to the fullest. Now that's why you're here. As a strong, handsome man that you are, do you think it's made tough? It is. Do you think a man of your stature could stand on top of this without Breaking it? I do. Let's give it a shot. All right. Come on now. Do you think you could take two of us? No, that's actually a pretty good thumbnail. That's a, good <laughs> that's a pretty good thumbnail. Let me get up there with you. Let me get up there with you. Do you think anybody's ever tried to put one and a half man on top of a <laughs> CFX box before? Guys, if you want to go further in comfort with a strong... What was that noise? It's, it's a lot more than just a refrigerator freezer combo. It is. It's like it does it all. Like imagine if you had to give like a, a speech to a big crowd, you could bring this so you could stand upon it. Campfire stories. What, you wanna give us a speech? No? Why don't you load me up here? Why don't you load me up here on the potsies? You want to do it together? Kenny, come with us as we deliver ice cream to the masses. Uh, one, we have uh, nacho flavored ice cream for you. What flavor ice cream would you like? Vanilla. Vanilla fudge cookie. It's got five layers in there. We can't give it to Ryan, old blended face, because he's left work for the day early because he's not motivated or dedicated. Oh! There's our beautiful sewer right there, Jake. 
Uh, we're gonna give him chocolate raspberry swirl. It's got doozy dots. I love doozy. Okay, but I gotta be honest with you. This says it's plant-based. Maybe I don't want that. Yeah, maybe you don't want that one. This one right here, you got the gelato. This could be real. I'll take that one. You'll take that one? Where's Rob? Rob, do you want the, the mint chocolate chip? Mint? There you go. There we go, there's Rob. Rob puts back up together all the air conditioners. That's what he does here. Everybody say hi, Rob. Here we go. Old Emmers. You've talked to her on the phone. We have a big decision here, Emmers. We have mint chocolate chip or doozy dots. Chocolate raspberry swirl. Now I gotta be quite honest, they're both plant-based. Doozy dots. You've heard it here, Kenny. Full of enthusiasm. Angela, you already got, did you get ice cream? Okay. We've lost track of what is going on around here. Okay, I've ordered too much stuff and the people out there in the world need to order it. Stay tuned for our next video unboxing each one of these CFX boxes and comparing them to the other CFX box. Guys, the possibilities are endless here. If you want to go further in comfort with ice cream, remember to go with Nomadic CFX boxes and Nomadic coin. Boom. I feel like it's enough.